the Australian senator who branded King Charles a genocidalist during his visit to the country has a history of similar outbursts against the monarchy. Lydia Thorpe is the first Aboriginal Australian independent politician to have held the position of senator for the state of Victoria after being sworn in in 2020. Ms Thorpe was filmed launching a furious tirade against King Charles and British colonialism as His Majesty kicked off his five-day visit to the Commonwealth country with a speech to MPs and senators in Australia's Great Hall of Parliament House on Monday. After the king finished addressing the crowd, the words FK the colony and you are not my king could be heard ringing out from the crowd. Ms Thorpe draped in a fur coat, continued, you committed genocide against our people. Give us our land back. Give us what you stole from us. Our bones, our skulls, our babies, our people. You destroyed our land. Give us our treaties. We want a treaty in this country. You are a genocidalist. This is not your land. This is not your land. Security jumped into action and removed her from the room as she continued to shout not my king. The senator is no stranger to controversy and has been the architect of several outrageous stunts since she was sworn in back in 2022. Not long after taking her seat. She was seen smearing a coat of arms with fake blood during a nationwide protest against British colonization during the National Day of Mourning following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. In Melbourne, Miss Thorpe was at the helm of the protest, and was seen with fake blood dripping from her hands as she addressed the crowd gathered. The crown has blood on their hands. Our people are still dying in this country every single day, she said. The crown's boot is on our neck and we're sick of it. During another incident in 2023, Ms. Thorpe got into a row outside Maxine's strip club in Melbourne, in which she went walking up to white men, telling them they'd stolen her land. After today's outburst, the senator told the BBC, I wanted to send a clear message to the King of England that he is not the King of this country. He is not my King. He is not sovereign. We are sovereign. To be sovereign, you have to be of the land. He is not of this land. We have been demanding a treaty for decades and decades. There is a sophisticated genocide going on against my people. We have, almost 24,000 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children that have been taken from their families. Australia's Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, has a long-held aim of holding a referendum on breaking ties with the British monarchy and his country becoming a republic. But the plans were put on hold after Australians overwhelmingly rejected a plan to give greater political rights to Indigenous people in a referendum held last year.